Hello, my name is Julie from the VMware Carbon Black Technical Marketing Team. And in this video, I will show you the enhancements we made to our observations in the investigation page. And I show you a couple of things you may be already familiar with, or you will find useful when performing your investigations as an analyst and working with the Carbon Black console on a day to day basis. After our first release in March 2023, we have made some significant changes based on customer feedback we received. So to start off, here you have your filters on the left hand side. And also, please note that you can add or remove specific filter categories to fit your individual preferences. So if I would want to also look at container, or specific parent processes or policy sections, I can simply add them here and apply. One of the most important feature I would like to highlight here is the type or category you may want to focus on. Whether it's, for example, a network traffic analysis or an observation you want to drill into regarding your host-based firewall activities, this is really how easy you can focus on and consume each category. You could also decide to exclude categories if you may not be interested in them at the very moment. If I would want to understand what each of these categories or the type here really mean, Carbon Black offers me an interactive user guide wherever I am in the console to understand what is really meant by certain definitions. So in that case, I'm directly guided to the investigation observation features and also I can read about observation types. Sometimes, as an analyst, I simply need a little bit more space to digest the information I am looking at throughout my day. So in order to do that, just use these options here to really expand and see how you can eliminate information you are not currently in need of. Same here with our histogram. You can simply hide this graphic if needed and you kind of cleaning up a little bit your space. Let's go back and focus on the histogram itself. So you see the bars which indicate the time and the spikes in observations you may want to focus on. So in that case, I can see I have a big spike on the 17th of August. I would like to drill down here a little bit further to understand what happened in a particular time frame. And note that you could also, for example, decide to select a group of time frames. In this case, I want to understand really what happened here from 2 to 4 a.m. in the morning. That seems a little bit off. I can select that time frame and drill down even further and understand how many observations and what really happened here during this particular time during the night. And oftentimes, once we understand the data displayed and we want to just move on or even move back, you can simply use that back button here on the top left corner to go back to your previous search. Moving down here a little bit, you will also have the option now to view by and group by. So let me explain. I could decide to group by attack tactic. So I can see here I have a couple of observations. And what I maybe also want to understand is, well, 
what are these attack tactics really about? So on this little icon on the eye, just click on it and understand what the tactic lateral movement in this case really means. Or to learn even more, you have the direct link to the MITRE ATT&CK framework web page and can even understand further what has happened in this particular case. Additionally, what can be super interesting, I can quickly switch to seeing the device-oriented columns for these search results. It will give me a meaningful outcome based on what exactly it is I am looking for, or maybe in what order I am used to digest the information in my daily analyst operations. This is how I get an understanding of where are the most significant observations to understand that I need to maybe investigate a little bit further. A lot of combinations can be vital to the context you need to make the right decisions at the right time. Note that you can also export the data in a CSV format. Finally, I would like to show you how you can customize your table even more. So let me go back a step here and remove my items, go back to the default view. And on the bottom left corner here, you have the option to configure your table. In my case today, I would like to add the process name to my table. And also, usually I like to digest my information in a particular order. So, for example, I always like to have my operational system next to the device and the process name just right after my process hash information. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for taking the time to watch it. And for more information on VMware Carbon Black products, please visit carbonblack.vmware.com.